They say play by the rules. I say be a game changer. They say follow their footsteps. I say I'll make my own path. They say it's a tough world. I say challenge accepted. Because the future isn't created by conventions. The future is yours. Welcome to Hong Kong Science Park Virtual Career Expo 2021. 欢迎大家参加香港科学园职业博览。As the theme suggests, the future is yours. 我哋今年嘅主题啦，就系未来由你创。We are excited to meet you all virtually today. And see how we can shape our future with a tech career. There are more than 2,400 jobs from over 270 tech companies on AI and robotics, biomedical tech, data and smart city, as well as fintech. Kicking off the week-long expo, we are having the full and inspiring live program this morning, starting with notable inspirers in our first ever Spark X. After that, you will hear from tech pioneers. Talents and rising stars about how they became so successful in their career journey, and a very good news to all of you: you may get a chance over the next few days to win an exclusive dialogue with our inspirers. Don't go away if you want to know more. As always, our event would not have been possible without the support from you and our partners. Let's give a big shout out to our strategic partners, media partners. Talent Solution Partners, as well as our supporting partners, we would like to say thank you to everyone for your support to make this Career Expo a huge success. Thank you, our wonderful partners. It's all about collective efforts in making Hong Kong and even the world better with innovation and technology. And you can be a part of us. So everyone, now sit tight and find out why you should be part of Hong Kong's innovation and technology ecosystem. Let's roll. Hong Kong Science Park Career Expo. Start your career here at Hong Kong Science Park. Join us. Be a part of the Hong Kong innovation and technology ecosystem. The future is yours. Are you ready? And now our inspiration time starts. Welcome to Spark X, the first in our new Inspiration Talk series. Spark is a dynamic and vibrant community in Science Park that unites over 13,000 innovative individuals by a common passion for innovation. It curates events to unlock synergies, to connect, to challenge, to recharge, as well as to inspire. So Spark X is our newly themed inspirational talk series to spark imagination and innovation to envision the future. The theme of this year's Career Expo is the future is yours. Do you wonder about the future? What the world will look like in the next decades and beyond? Starting today and throughout the week, we have invited inspirers to share their insights on how INT will overhaul the way we live. How we communicate, and the ways to support early detection and new treatments to fight life-threatening diseases. Are you ready to embark on a journey of inspiration with us? Without further ado, let's welcome Mr. Paul Chan, GBM, GBS, MHJP, Financial Secretary of the HKSAR Government. Dr. Sunny Chai, BBS, Chairman of HKSTP. Sunny, ladies and gentlemen, online friends, greetings from Hong Kong, where the future, your future, is waiting. Being held virtually for the second year, this year's Hong Kong Science Park Career Expo connects you with more than 240 science park companies, and they are taking to over 2,000 promising jobs opportunities in the innovation and technology sector, right here in Hong Kong, where I and T. It's not only your future, 
but ours too. Let me tell you why. Innovation and technology is a policy priority of the Hong Kong SAR government. Its development is critical to every sector, every industry of our economy. Today, this government has allocated over 14 billion US dollars for the development of INT. That certainly includes Science Park, home to more than a thousand tech companies, and so much more to come. That is because two major research clusters at Science Park are now opening for business. One is laser focused on artificial intelligence and robotics, the other on healthcare technology. And in these pandemic times, we all know how essential healthcare technology is to all our futures. The clusters are attracting high profile research organizations and institutions from all over the world. And they are looking for people like you. Hong Kong is also a magnet for startups. Last year, nearly 3,400 innovating companies called Hong Kong home. That is up more than 50% over just four years ago. We are investing in their future as well. Over the past two years, our Innovation and Technology Venture Fund has pumped nearly 13 million US dollars into 19 local startups while attracting over 65 million in private investment. Innovation and Technology is at the heart of the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area development. The Custer City development integrating Hong Kong, Macau with nine cities in the Pearl River Delta region. Add them up and you have a regional marketplace of some 72 million consumers with collective GDP per capita exceeding 23,000 US dollars. Hong Kong will play a central role in the Greater Bay Area in sectors such as financial services, aviation, and of course, innovation and technology. The Hong Kong Shenzhen Innovation and Technology Park located near Hong Kong's boundary with Shenzhen, is under development. We expect nearly 5,000 jobs will be created in the park's first phase from 2024 to 2027. On full completion, the park will become home to some 52,000 jobs, powering the Greater Bay Area's rise as one of the world's leading INT hubs. In short, what are you waiting for? I look forward to seeing you soon in Hong Kong, where the future is yours. Thank you. Hello, I'm Sunny, Chairman of HASTP. I've been truly amazed by the accelerated adoption of technology and all things digital in the last 12 months. I've come to believe, which I'm sure many of you would agree, that during the pandemic, Science and technology have reached high level of importance and influence on our present and our future. The rise of AI is an obvious example. Machine learning and predictive modeling have been at the forefront of battling COVID and is a clear example of how AI is helping us reach new levels of capability. Globally, three out of five CEOs believe that AI will have a larger impact than the internet. Backed by a PwC study, in 2019. It is also projected that AI could deliver 15.7 trillion US dollars in additional economic activity by 2030. However, this positive sentiment is facing a classic case of new technology fear. Uncertainty and doubt, loss of control, growing distrust, fears of losing privacy and jobs are all driving major social debates. A look back to past science fiction movies or TV series, from Star Trek, A Space Odyssey, Back to the Future, and the movie AI. They all predicted a future with advanced technologies. Facial recognition, natural language processing, lip reading, automated reasoning, and computers playing chess. They also predicted the very same possibility problems and challenges around the future of AI, and the same social debates that I've mentioned. 
I truly believe that AI's potential will go way beyond anything we can imagine today. I also predict that we won't need to wait 50 years for this to happen. We already see AI's potential today with autonomous driving and disease diagnosis, but also in day-to-day -day life with automated chatbot and robo-advisors. But there's so much more to come. Experts predict that AI is shifting from single function to general AI. Today's supercomputers and AI algorithm tend to be great at doing one thing, but only one thing. AI today will beat our best champions in chess, but general AI will think of complex idea, learn from experience, and perform multitask as easy as human can. Two key things are changing that are enabling this next great leap forward for AI. Advances in technologies and more feasible applications. Advances in computer power, chip design, and improving algorithm, which enable AI system to perform multi-complex specific tasks. At the same time, AI is increasingly prominent among different applications, and this is becoming accessible at all levels of technologies, business, education, and society. Today, AI is offering us a way forward to upgrade people's skills in the digital era. My daughter is in her 20s. She couldn't imagine how I did business in the 80s with fax and telex. She couldn't imagine how we had lived without a mobile phone. AI is already and will continue to be the new normal. Through advances in science and technology powered by AI, we can meet the challenges such as climate change, global pandemics, universal healthcare and education. Just imagine what General AI could do for the world. I dare you to imagine to think bigger. Thank you to our SparkX inspirers today. You may have a once in a lifetime opportunity to have a direct dialogue with these innovators. Find out how to join these sessions by following on the post on our social media platforms or scan this QR code now to know more. Coming up next, more heavyweight inspires, emerging tech talents and rising stars will be joining us online together to share their secrets of success. I promise you'll be in for a treat. Hi, good day everyone. Welcome guests and audience to the inspirational session of Talent for Tomorrow, Ignite Your Potential for the Future. Hi everyone, thanks for coming in. Good to see you guys. Would you like to say hi to the audience, everyone? Hi. Thank you. Our panels here will share their views on three areas. And you're going to ask, what are the three areas? Well, first uh, is what qualities should Talent for Tomorrow possess? Uh, secondly is, how these attributes actually help leaders shape the future INT world. And thirdly, is the ways to be a future tech leader. So that's going to be the three topics. So for the first one, um, now I know uh, people are actually talking about the talent for tomorrow and what are the future fluent personalities. Now can each of you actually share with us uh, the top attribute on your list and why is that an important attribute? Um, Albert, would you like to start first? Sure. To me, diligence in simple terms. A lot of people tell you many things like uh, taking risks at this and that. Everything is important, but diligence is the most important quality in my opinion. That means commitment, dedication and focus. Also, it means that you're not happy with yourself. You keep on improving, doing, doing a good job, hardworking diligence. To me, is the most important thing, most important quality to success. Okay, so I guess it's more, more like the diligence is more like a, a discipline thing. Now, how about um, Jimmy? Do you have anything to add other uh, on top of what, uh, what Albert just mentioned? Well, you know, for me, um, my pick at the top of this would, it sounds cliche, but I would say learning, you know, mm. because I truly believe learning will become the new loyalty to success. Um, many futurists already predict in maybe from in 10, 20, or even 30 years by 2050s up to 35% of all of us, we will definitely need to re-educate ourselves to fill in a new role, new career, and new technologies, especially like because of the AI. So I guess if you do not do well in learning, like that won't be a good for you in the future. All right, so we got diligence and learning. Now, Jonathan, do you have anything to add to that list? Perhaps, I'm, guess I'm guessing something that's to do with being flexible, maybe? Is it, is it something in that domain? <laughs> Absolutely, I mean, I. 
for, for me, one of the top qualities that I look for in the talent for tomorrow is is to be adventurous mm. and to be really fearless in exploring the boundaries, not only the boundaries and technologies, but also challenging the status quo. Mm. So in the technology industry, things change very, very quickly. And the talent who is able to be adventurous and fail quickly and learn quicker is best equipped to, to handle the technology of tomorrow. Ah, very, very interesting. Now, um, how about uh, Haoshi? Um, do, you, do you have something that, that, is, that has to do with maybe something that they just shared or something in a complete dom uh, different domain? What do you say? Well, I have something very similar. I think that being agile is one of the top attributes for talent of tomorrow. Mm. In software development, we have a term called agile software development which involves discovering requirements and developing solutions adaptively and flexibly. I think such attribute also works for self-development. Hmm. Our world is changing fast and being agile to fast learn things and reflect yourself is definitely what we need today. Wow, Thank you. thanks. That's, that's actually quite some important pillar. So uh, it seems to me it's something that has to be applied not only to what you do, but also inwards. And it's, it's a combination of hard skills and soft skills. Quite, quite the mixture. Now, um, I know that the pandemic has, well, it's come really suddenly and it's changed our lives. And we're now used to adapt to the new normal of meeting virtually, just like what we're doing right now. Now, we also hear that every challenge, uh, there's an opportunity. Technology is definitely the key to leading us going through these challenges. Now, my question to you is, how do these attributes make you shape the future world empowered by innovation and technology? Um, anyone want to go first? Anyone? Well, I'll, I'll go first. I think, sure. I think the most important, we, what we heard just now has always been the, um, uh, the future is uncertain. We don't know and things are happening, things are changing. Um, one of the things that uh, I, can, I can assure you is that what we believe is technology today, five years later, we will not, not be the same. We talk about AI today. I'm pretty sure in about four or five years, it will be BI, CI, BI, whatever I. I'm sure things will happen and we predict the future, 95% of the time will be wrong. I think the most important thing for us is to, to be able to, to be future-proof and multidisciplinary. For example, I've been talking to people in biomedical areas, and you have to know, know, know data. You have to know ICT, AI in biomedical. So you've got to be future-proof, and you've got to be uh, multidisciplinary. Wow. So it's almost like multiple investments in, uh, in, different, in different domains. Wow. And how, how about uh, Jonathan? Now, you suggested that being adventurous is an important part, uh, is, is a pioneer. Um, is democratizing robotics for the business world um, an adventurous move? Or did you know that it was a sure win? What is it? <laughs> well, I, I think that uh, robotics uh, is definitely... Uh, very much a, an industry of the future and, and we know that it's a technology and industry of the future. So in, in that regard, it's, it's, it's definitely a sure win. But uh, with any business, the, the important thing is, is, is when you're trying to bring a new technology to a new market, I, I think that is, that is what, where the challenge and the, and, and the adventurous element is. And it's, and it's and certainly a risky move, but it's definitely the, the kind of adventurous and the pioneering spirit that we have in, in, in over robotics, which challenges the status quo in, in everything that we do, is, uh, is, is what drives us. And, and we believe it's, it's, it's the hallmarks of what will make uh, the future, future technology and future companies. Right, and, that, and that's you know, what they say, right? Um, here's the circle, the realm of things, and outside that circle is where all the cool stuff happens, that, but that's also outside your comfort zone, so that's, that's where the adventure stuff comes in. Um, now, Jimmy, you, uh, you brought to the world a novel yet very practical tech using fish embryos, right, for toxicity testing. Um, and recently, it was actually used to test hand sanitizer brands it, which is very good in terms of timing, by the way. Um, can you tell us about how passion for innovation actually helped you to become a leading tech pioneer, contributing so much to the society and also to the future world? Can you share with us uh, that? You know, I, I previously mentioned that learning um, as my pick, but you do have the passion to learn because uh, not, not everything is easy to be learned. Mm. And uh, I always have a passion to work with bright minds and technologies. You know, I love socializing. I love meeting new friends, you know, especially with interesting background. 
with tech background. Because when I see when you meet bright people or unite bright people with technology together, you can do a lot of stuff, especially what Albert mentioned about you know, solving the social issues by technologies. You know, I, think, I think that's so important. And as I mentioned about passion to learn, you know, uh, all the technologies that like, we come across like in the past or in the future, a lot of them, we don't really know them. But I think with Bright Minds and Thailand, we, we can be like learning by doing. And especially if you work, work with the experts in, the, in, in that um, uh, paradigm, you just feel no shame to ask them. Yeah, you know, I, I always encourage people, you know, there's no stupid question, only stupid answer. So when you don't know something, you're so passionate about new technologies, Go ahead, you know, meet those people, mm. ask them questions. If they can't answer you uh, and, and let you understand what they're doing, that's their problem. Right? That's also my passion to learn. Right, and that's also the learning process for everyone, you know, like you can either get offended or you can find out the answers together. I think that's kind of the learning path for everyone. That's what makes it really fun too. And uh, how about you, Haoshi, as a fresh grad in such a challenging time, by the way, uh, good job. Um, how would uh, the attribute that you are referring to help prepare and contribute to the future with INT? How does that work for you? Yeah, well, I think the fundamental belief is to stick with Agile. Um, Agile is a set of values and principles. It's, you know, it's important to understand what we do, uh, that we do certain things because we want to make our lives better, not because we have to do it for the sake of doing it. And in Agile software development, tools and processes are important, but it is more important to have competent, com competent people working together e effectively. But a contract, for example, is important, but it's there. Uh, but but the contract is no substitute for working closely with customers to discover what they need. Mm. Um, so all in all, uh, the the we we need uh, in real life obtaining grade A scores is important. But it's more important to learn the skills and thinking uh, thinking the methodologies that prepare me to solve the next challenge. In this way, I cope with shifting events by sticking to the fundamental principles of being agile. And it, you know what, the, the way that you actually said it, it's very interesting how um, you happen to be the last person that's, uh, that's sharing because what you just said actually combined what these three gentlemen just said. Because when you're agile, you actually have to be learning, you have to be adventurous, and you also have to be diligent at the same time. Well said, well said. Now, um, for, now for the next one is that we, we have heard about how technologies are very crucial for a better world. And uh, tech talents are definitely the major asset of the INT development. Now, while attracting more young talents to join the INT force, that is, we need to nurture them well and to offer um, a right platform for them. Now, can you share uh, your thoughts about the key uh, to becoming a future tech leader? Anyone want to go first? Um, I'll, I'll go first again. Sure. So, um, um, we, again, I, I, I'm repeating myself, but it is very important to realize that the future has not happened. And it's really up to us in the technology area to make future happen. For example, we did not have stem cells 10 years ago. We mm. did not have AI, well, we did not have facial recognition 10. Well, we did, but not good enough. However, we, 50 years ago, people promised flying cars. It hasn't happened, all right? But maybe in a few years, something will happen. So mm. in the technology area, the so number one thing is to dream big. And it, because it has not happened yet, um, what, what you're working on today, it's okay to think big. What, what you're happening on today may happen or may not happen. So it's important to think about it, drive the future, that's number one. Number two, I think it's very important, is that it's becoming a lot more global because technology en enable the globalization, meaning that I can reach a much bigger market. I can reach a much bigger population from Hong Kong, I can reach Greater Bay Area, Southeast Asia, or the world. On the other hand, you are competing with the world because it's so easy. You can teach music on the web, on Hong, in Hong Kong or Greater Bay Area, but also people in the US or Europe can teach people in Hong Kong. So you have a much bigger opportunity to reach a bigger, bigger world, but also you're competing with a lot of people in different parts of the world. So these are two major areas. Number one, the world, the future has not happened yet. It's up to you. Number two, is a big market out there, big world out there, meaning big opportunity, but also big challenges. 
Right. So um, in essence, basically think bigger and think wider because we're right. doing like things that's targeting, not just where you do are. Not afraid, do not be afraid of dreaming big. Definitely. Thank you. That's very inspiring, by the way. And I'm gonna uh, pick pick at some other um, some other some other guys. I'm gonna pick you, Jonathan. Actually, um, now innovators by definition are those people who stay ahead of trends. Now, how how can a tech talent stay at the cutting edge and keep themselves competitive? How does that actually work? Well, I, I think it really starts with the talent really loving the uh, the domain and the industry that you're 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 working in and you're focused in. Because I, I believe that really all the learning and and and, uh, uh, and development within a particular industry, it starts with a passion. Mm. And so you really need to follow uh, where your, your heart and, and your and your passion. And what will follow with that is is a talent who will be well read, well educated and focused on the, those changes within that technology industry, which is which is super important. But, that the, 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 the tech and the learning will follow the passion. Uh, but I think that the, the other important which uh, other important attribute which, which, um, which uh, the other guys have, have, have all touched on as well is, is the perseverance. Mm. Because it's those perseverance um, uh, uh, which, which enables you to, to really follow uh, uh, all the technical challenges and, and really get to the bottom of all your technical problems which will really drive uh, solutions to you know, everything, everything that you do. Right. And yes, definitely. Just like uh, what Albert was saying, it, it's that tenacity, right? It's that diligence. Um, now, uh, Jimmy, um, I know like you're an uh, HKSTP graduated incubator and you're now a leading tech pioneer. Can you tell us, um, you know, what young people should actually do in order to grasp the, these opportunities in order to be a future, a future tech leader? Well, I really want to resonate with what Albert said about, you know, think big and, and for my words, I would say never limit yourself. You know, no matter what educational background you have or, you know, you did well in public exam or not. Because when people look at my background, you know, I didn't do well in public exam. I didn't get into the uh, university in Hong Kong, but eventually I went to UK and then I, I did quite well in the school. I went to the top school like for fashion as my first first degree. And I finished it and I didn't pursue in fashion industry and then I changed subject. I did a master's degree in engineering. After I finished the school, I didn't do what I learned in the school. I started a, 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 an electronic uh, company in China and later on I do like a technology transfer, building a factory in China with 600 like, employees. Later on, very lucky, went IPO. And many people say like, oh, Jimmy, you know, you, you, you are so successful, so young. And then why didn't stay in that listed company? I, I just changed my career again. I, I, I invest in biotech. Now you're in, in, now you're in the family as a representative of a biotech company, which a lot of people say you don't have a background. How could you manage a group of scientists, doctors? And then I just say like, you know, when you look at a lot of pharmaceutical companies, most of their leaders, actually, they don't have a doctor title. What, so what's wrong with it? So um, don't limit yourself saying that you don't know something, though you can't do something. You're saying that you, you study law, you can't do it in a science company. No such a thing, you know. I think the most important thing is learning by doing, as I just said. And um, I think we in Hong Kong are very lucky because Hong Kong is a melting pot of, for, for talents. You know, in the past, um, many people say that those talents are working in banking or real estate, you know, those industries. But now it's different. A lot of, a lot of those right minds, they're really willing to do their own startup or join a lot of startup companies. So I, I think Hong Kong Science Park is also the place at the platform that attracts so many talents, especially in Hong Kong. So, you know, um, try to do something and uh, as uh, what Jonathan said, you know, you can do things locally, but think globally, you know, uh, for the business opportunities. And I'm surely like uh, recently, a lot of people talk about uh, Greater Bay Area. I think that would be a great place to start with. Right, and that totally resonates with what, what you just mentioned, learning. There's no excuse for not knowing something. Just, just learn it, just like everybody does. And of course, you have to be adventurous and you, have to, you need the tenacity at the same time, uh, which leads to my uh, last question. Now, Hauchi, um, you were selected for the first intake of the HKSTP Technology Leaders of Tomorrow program that was uh, last year. Now, how did you decide to take this challenge and how, how's, it, how's it going now? Can you update us on that? Sure. 
Well, um, how I take this challenge is because that ever since I'm a kid, I was fascinated by the power of technology and innovation, and I have been curious about it all the time. And Hong Kong, although well known for its finance and economy, actually has plenty of great R and D institutions for technology and innovation development. And the TLT program of HKSTP just provided me with such a great opportunity to transform my passion for technology into actual researches and projects. And during the two months internship and at HKSTP, I met a lot of entrepreneurs and learned their views towards technology and innovation. And everyone around me here, my colleagues in Sense Time and my mentors in Science Park, are really nice and helpful. Helpful. I feel I am growing every day through all the tasks I'm accomplishing and from all the smart people I'm working with. A big obstacle can be solved using divide and conquer, and the greatest research pleasure is gained by resolving every challenge along the way. Wow, divide and conquer, love that, love that. And um, actually, just one additional little question for Albert, um, just kind of like as a wrap up, what would you like to say to the young talents who want to pursue a career that's an in INT? Uh, did you yeah. want to add to that? Very simply, yeah, this is great. Very simply, is that if you like science and technology and mathematics, and when you're a student, just go after your dream, just be, just work hard on your studies. And there are opportunities in Hong Kong. Um, Career Expo is coming up. We have about more than a thousand jobs coming up. There are, there, are, there are more jobs than people, to be honest. And um, I, I, I just tell the young people that go after your dreams. If you like mathematics, do well in mathematics. Like mm -hmm. physics, go do well in, in physics. And there will be opportunities. Right. Thank you so much, everyone. So a big takeaway uh, uh, for, for me as well. What I, I've learned, very important elements from Albert have to be uh, diligent, just get at it. And then uh, Jonathan, there you, you said it, have fun, be adventurous, be a little crazy. Nobody's going to laugh at you. Same, uh, same thing there. Um, you know, you said, um, uh, you, you said, Jimmy, like, you know, you have to be learning. There's no excuse to not know something at this day and age. Like pull up Google, you can just learn anything. And Hauchi, um, yes, you, you, very good um, application of what all of them just said be agile be flexible all right thank you very much everyone so i'll see you guys around thank you bye bye a big thank you to all of our inspirers today you have given us a lot of inspirations and a lot of work to develop future readiness having heard from all of our inspirers today now my question to you is are you ready to join them and innovate for the future after all the future is yours right Remember, there are more than 2,400 jobs from over 270 tech companies that's waiting for you to browse through and apply for on our virtual career platform for seven days, that is, until next Wednesday. And here's some really good news for all of you. Every day for the next seven days, the first 100 people to check in on our virtual career platform after 9 a.m. will win an opportunity to have a personal clinic with our talent solution partner on perfecting your CV and introduction video. Thank you so much for joining the inspirational sessions of Hong Kong Science Park Virtual Career Expo 2021. Start searching for your dream job now, everyone. Happy job hunting.